Well, friends, recently I've noticed that many surgeons have started using locking cancer screws in the metaphyseal zone when they do periarticular fractures fixation. So the query is that whether the cancer screw in the locking mode is an innovation or is just a mistake. So we'll see what is the issue. So here you see all the screws that have been placed in the proximal segment are cancer screws. And here as well, all the screws in the metaphyseal zone are locking cancer screws. The reason that the surgeons give is that the manufacturer that provides the implant set is containing only the locking cancer screws in log length. The conventional screws are available only in short length. So they are forced to use these screws. And some surgeons assume that they have better pullout strength because of their cancerous nature it is going to be better purchased by the cancer screw because of the deep pitch. But the issue is something else. If you see the locking plates, the locking plates pull out strength is based on the stability they provide with the multi-planar fixed angle construct. That means the junction between the screw and the plate is fixed angle. That means it is not going to displace. And also, these screws are not in a single plane. They are like a crisscross network of screws. So when the screws are like this, the pullout strength of this whole unit will be more compared to the individual screw. So the locking plate works like a single unit, unlike the conventional cancer screws, which, which are holding one particular zone of the bone. Now these screws are the workhorse for the principle of locking plate. If you try to replace these screws, which normally are locking bolts, bolt is the term when the core diameter is very large. If you compare the conventional locking screws with the cortical screw, you will find that the core diameter of the locking screw is much larger. That's why you can call them bolt as well. So the locking screws are having curved core diameter, so they are strong. They are not going to fail with bending. While if we replace these screws with the cancellous ones, the bending strength will be reduced. And if you try to bend a cancellous screw, you will see that it will bend very softly. And if you try to immediately release it, it will move like a spring. So what's the point of putting a cancer screw when it is such weak that it can be bent just by your finger motion? So that is going to compromise your fixation. In some cases, you may experience that the fixation is getting loose with time. So you must be lucky if your cases don't fail with these kind of screws or if there is no loss of reduction with these kind of screws. So these screws can bend, break, loosen up in the high stress zones especially when the forces are very high like in proximal humerus fractures like in distal femoral fractures like in proximal tibial fractures so these are the zones which are absorbing a lot of stress if we try to put locking cancer screws we are actually compromising the fixation strength you see this case this is just an example the locking cancer screws they all have loosened up only the conventional locking screws which were placed in the calcar zone are in their position one of the locking screw is lying here so this is something which can happen in the unstable fracture patterns in osteoporotic patients, in those patients, geriatric patients with which the bone quality is very poor. So if you try to put the locking cancer screws hoping that it is going to have better pullout strength or better bone hold, you are going to do a big mistake. So you have to avoid it. You have to request your implant manufacturer to provide you long length locking bolts, not the lock cancer screws. Because ultimately, the outcomes will be decided by you, not the implant company or manufacturer. Let's go into the biomechanics. Why the locking cancer screws are weak? You see here the shaft of the conventional locking screw and the shaft of the locking cancer screw. The difference is the core diameter. You see, the smaller core diameter is there in the locking cancer screw because most of the diameter is occupied by the threads or you can say the deep pitch. So if you try to bend such a screw, it may tend to break like this. Therefore, they are prone to failure. So they can be used as alternative of the cancer screws. Like whenever you are doing some surgery in which you want to place extra positional screws. In case of small bones which are completely cancelled, there also you can place these screws as standalone screws. And they have advantage of burying the head inside. Like small fragments, you can definitely use these screws. In case of malleolite fractures, 
which are perfectly reduced you can use these screws as positional screws in case of calcanium also you can use these screws as positional screws but they should not be used alone because of the same thing they have small core diameter they have to be used as supplementary screws like multiple such screws have been used or one plate has been put and these screws are just supplementing the fixation and they are not meant to be placed with the locking plate with the assumption that they are going to have better bone purchase they are going to have good bone purchase no doubt but they are going to be weak than the conventional locking screws and will tend to loosen up with time if there are high stresses in the metaphasial segment now there are some re recent designs in which what they are doing they are trying to preserve the core diameter in the proximal part and only the terminal part is cancerous but these are the new innovations and still they are not time proven you have to wait for the results of such innovations in the clinical studies till then you have to stick to the conventional locking screws only avoid these screws ask your implant manufacturer to provide you the locking bolts or conventional locking screws in the longer length if you have any queries you can just put those in comments thank you